In this video, we'll learn about a feature called autocomplete in Excel. So now we are in cell B3 and we are trying to enter the rest of the author information. So we know that the glimpses of world history, the author is again Jawaharlal Nehru. And as soon as I type J, you see that Excel is trying to tell me something here. It says Jawaharlal Nehru. And this is called autocomplete. And this is a feature that Excel has where it actually looks at the previous entries in this column and then tells us that, oh, maybe you're trying to enter Jawaharlal Nehru because I'm seeing Jawaharlal Nehru in this column already. This is great when you're trying to enter information where you have the same entries repeating often in the same column. In this case, it actually is great because I can just hit enter now and Excel will store Jawaharlal Nehru. So I'm gonna hit enter. And now, instead of me typing the entire name, all I had to do was type J and then hit enter. This would save me a lot of time in typing, but also it's going to keep my data clean. Since Excel is trying to autocomplete, it will not make an error in the spelling of Jawaharlal Nehru. So this is great for me, but you have to be very careful about this feature. Let's say, for example, here, I don't really want to enter Jawaharlal Nehru. Maybe the name of the author is J Nehru. So in that case, if you don't pay attention and if you just hit enter, you would actually be entering the wrong information. So let's see how we can overcome or override the autocomplete feature. I'm going to hit J again, and it gives me the autocomplete option. And I am going to hit backspace key, which will remove the autocomplete option. And I'm going to pre press space, and I'm going to type Nehru and hit enter. So now Excel let me type in something else that starts with J, right? So let's imagine the next author is I want to enter Jawaharlal Nehru. I know it's not, but just to illustrate the point, let's say I want to enter Jawaharlal Nehru. As soon as I type J, now Excel does not give me any autocomplete options. And the reason is Excel is seeing two different entries, which means it has more than one entry, which starts with J, so Excel doesn't know what to provide. You have to remember that Excel will give you an option if it is sure that there's only one option that would fit with the autocomplete rules. In this case, there are two entries that start with J, so Excel doesn't know what to do yet. As soon as I type A, now Excel knows that there's only one value here in this column so far, which starts with J A, so it automatically tells me this is my option. And if I press enter now, I will accept this option. But I'm gonna do backspace and another backspace. And now if I just press space now, immediately Excel says, oh, you're trying to enter J space Nehru. And this is because Excel knows that there's only one value which starts with J space. And again, Keep in mind this option or this feature of autocomplete will be very, very handy in data entry in most occasions, but it's also something which you have to watch out for so that you type the right information in. So I'm going to hit backspace and go back one cell above, and I'm going to type the correct information. And I'm going to again, the same autocomplete weeks it works again for Mahatma Gandhi here. So for the fifth book, I'm going to type the author information and hit enter. And now that we are done with the author names for all the five books, we're going to now continue entering more data into this products table that we are trying to build here.